Hey guys, it's your girl Chelsea and I'm back with another lit video for you guys. So today, if y'all can hear that, we got some ruckus going on in the background. These dogs are playing, going crazy. So I have my dog Charlie and we have a little visitor who is a puppy. He's about six months and we have another surprise guest star coming like right now, like 10 minutes, five minutes from now. Another puppy actually, and it's about the same age, six months. And let me just tell you, they are so adorable. You guys, calm down, calm down. So I haven't had puppies doing dog boarding like in a really long time. I think I had one, but it wasn't even like a puppy puppy. It was like a year old. I mean, six months, they're pretty big. Like these dog breeds, they're big for being a puppy, but they're also like still small. You can tell they're a puppy. So gonna be really fun i got both of the puppies today one of them in the early morning and now it's about gonna be 5 p.m getting the other one and the one i'm getting here in a few here in a few minutes is only staying till tomorrow morning or tonight they said that the dog might not even stay the night just depending they're going out and they want to probably get the dog if it's not too super late Charlie's trying to get in here. He's like, I'm done playing. This dog is like, oh, this is gonna be really fun. So here's Charlie. I had to separate them for a second because they're being a little too crazy. Um, we need to take your harness off. We just went on a walk. Yeah, yeah, we just went on a walk, huh? Mm, look at that happy boy. Oh, I'm not trying to give you belly rubs. Charlie, I can't take your harness off. Ugh. Oh my gosh, Charlie. Crazy. I gotta get it off your head. Get up. Look at that face. Pure happiness. Ooh, you're all wet from play fighting. Like I was saying, they might pick up the dog at nighttime um, because they're just going out for a little bit. He might stay till the morning, so I'm not sure yet. I told them I'm up super late to like three in the morning, so don't worry if you want to come pick him up late, that's fine. If not, that's fine either way because I'm up late and I don't mind if somebody comes to pick their dog up late. I mean, as long as they're not creepy and sketchy. The other one's staying about two nights, so not too long, but I've been getting a decent amount of dog boarding requests. There was another one for June, but they canceled. They booked it and then they canceled because I guess their plans changed. And then I've had a few others, but they never went through because either they found someone closer or whatever. So I think because of Memorial weekend, People are starting to go out traveling, so they need someone to watch their dog. Why do I have this random long? What the? Did I not notice that? Oh my God. The way that I got my dog, I actually got him for free, you guys. I didn't get him from a shelter or anything like that, which I always wanted to get a dog from a shelter just to save a dog, make them happy. And you know, of course, sometimes shelters, they'll kill their dogs and put them down if they've been there too long or something like that or they're old it's sad and i did look up and there's a lot of pit bulls in the shelters over here it's so sad i've always had dogs growing up so i had two labs growing up and one of them was samantha she was my dog since i was a baby till about 10 11 12 years old she lived to be like 14 and then I had the other lab, April, and I actually named her because her birthday was in April, and I was like, you look like an April. And I tried to look up other dog names. None other matched her face. Like, you know how that is with kids and dogs. It just matched. So that was like my dad's dog technically, but also kind of my dog. But Samantha, the one that I had since a baby, was like my dog, my dog. But I always raised them, took care of them, fed them every morning, gave them a bone. The dog, April, um, my dad ended up putting her down. Okay, just pulled in, heading to you now. Oh crap, okay guys, hold on, hold on. I gotta get this dog. I'll finish my story. How oh, sweet, the owner brought them each a treat. And he don't even want it. You don't even want your treat? Why are you scared? Come here. Oh, he's so cute. So cute, so sweet. <laughs> Adorable. And oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, you don't like being pet when you eat in a treat, huh? Oh, okay then. <laughs> Little grumpy, but oh, he's so sweet, so cute. Yes, I love him. So 
Anyways, continue. Whoa, get down. To continue my story on how I got Charlie, let me get in a little closer. Okay, so my dog April, hey, get there. <laughs> this is gonna be chaos. My dog April got put down. She had cancer, same as my other lab. They both had cancer, they both had tumors. So my first dog had it in her leg. It was like a baseball size. And then the second one, oh, oh. <laughs> What's in your bag? Oh, I'm dead. She found something in your bag? Mm -hmm. Look at she's right here. Right, he doesn't want it. I don't know why he don't want a treat. The second one, she had a tumor in her stomach and it looked like she was just super overweight, but sadly, no, she had cancer. So my dad put her down. I didn't even know she was getting put down. So I didn't even get to say goodbye to her. It really sucked. And I was about, how old was I? I think I was like 18 at the time. No, I was like 19, I think, cause I'm almost 24. I think I was 19 or 20. Cause when I got him, it's, he's already four and I got him at like six months. So yeah, I think I was 20. So I'm almost 24 here in two months. And so I was so depressed, you guys. I was so sad. Like my parents were divorced since I was like a baby. So I never remember them being together, but obviously when your parents are divorced, you don't get to see your pets all the time. So like my dog wasn't with me all the time. She was mostly with my dad. Like it used to be two weeks on, two weeks off with my parents. It used to be a week at a time. I'd stay with my mom a week, then my dad a week. Then as I got older, it started to be too much because I had to pack so much stuff. So it'd be like two weeks at a time, two weeks there. And then as I got older, or older older I got to choose who I wanted to live with and sometimes it was my dad then it was my mom so then I stayed with my mom till I moved out of my parents house completely but um I was living with my mom at the time oh stop pumping no and so I posted on Facebook like hey you guys I explained the situation like my dog got put down I'm so sad I'm looking for a dog can you stop pumping hey Dang, I just got an Amber Alert. Anyways. Oh my gosh, these dogs make it hard to talk. So, I explained the situation that my dog got put down. I was super sad and I needed a dog. Like, I was saying, hey, does anyone have a dog for sale? Um, I'm, I need a dog. Like, whatever you have, let me know. And I wanted a puppy, but I don't think I even posted about wanting a puppy because, of course, like, I wanted them for a long time. I wanted them to grow with me and you know to be able to train them completely and just have like a best friend so this lady reached out to me she said she had a dog which was charlie and oh i'm gonna cry <laughs> my charlie my charlie oh my boy so she said that she was moving and that she couldn't take him to where she was moving and i don't know if it's because they had a dog ban or they weren't supposed to have dogs in the apartment what the what the what the heck <laughs> Dogs are crazy. I'm dead. Oh, careful. <laughs> oh my god, the guys, these dogs are chaos. They're so funny. I'm dead. Puppies are hilarious. So, anyways, as I was saying, I'm gonna have to stop every five seconds to explain the story. So, now you kissing them? Oh, no kissing in my house. Okay, so she said, I can't take my dog and I'll give him to you for free. And I was like, wait, what, for real? And he's obviously a pit bull, you guys, and pit bulls are so expensive. I mean, he's not a full-on bred pit, but he's mostly pit bull. So his dad was full pit bull. His mom, get off of him. Hey, stop pumping. No, no. His mom was pit bull and mixed with something. They didn't know with what. So, of course, I didn't care. I just wanted a dog. Hey, and I've always wanted a pit bull or a husky. Like, honestly, this dog isn't a husky, but I wanted one that looked like this. Or I wanted a husky pit bull mix. So it was so perfect. And he's white, which is cool. Um, I've always had labs, like I said, they were black. So he's like, they were both girls. So this is like my first boy dog and my first pit bull and my first white dog. Oh yes, you're all trying to play. Calm down, go over there. Look, get the toys. Look, get it, get it, get it. Oh, good boy, get it, Charlie. Oh, get it, Charlie, oh, good boy. Um, um, <laughs> hey, look, here's the toy. Here's the toy. I got all these toys. 
toys out of the blue. Oh, yes, ma'am. Can I explain my story on how I got you? Okay. So. Okay, I was like, yeah, perfect. Like, if, if you can't take him and I'm helping you and you're helping me. So, I never asked to get him for free. Like, I was willing to pay. I never said I wanted a dog for free. I was just looking for a dog. And so, she's like, well, he's free. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, heck yeah. And then, she wanted me to take his mom, too. And I was like, sorry, I can't do that. Like, I was living with my mom at the time. Hey, get down. Hey, stop it. Stop. She didn't even want me to get a dog. I was messaging her like all day. I remember I was working at Instrum Toffee. It's like a kiosk in the mall at that time. And I was texting her like the whole time. I was like, can I get this dog? Please, I'm so depressed. Like I need him. He'll make me so happy. Guys, what are you doing? Why you keep going here? I can't save you. I can't save you. He's crazy. Oh my God. So I was like, my mom's already gonna kill me for getting him. Cause she said, no, I couldn't get him. Like she was like, you're not having a dog in my house. She's never had a dog in her house. Actually, she did have one, and it was small. And I was like, why could you get a dog, but I can't? Because she ended up getting rid of it. And she had cats. She has like three cats. She has two cats now. Oh, oh, oh! <sighs> this is chaos. Y'all better like this video right now. Comment down below and subscribe. And turn on post notifications. Okay, yeah. I was like, my mom's already going to kill me for getting him. Like, two dogs. Oh, yeah, she'll definitely want me to get rid of him. And he was a puppy, so of course, like, you know, puppy fever, and he's so super cute and small and dainty. She's gonna love him. So my mom's never really been like a huge dog person, but she doesn't hate dogs. Like, she's more of a cat person. My dad's always been the dog person. Um, but like I said, she only had a small dog for a little bit of time and then got rid of it. I don't know if she just didn't have time for it or what, but she never had a big dog in the house. And really, so, I was like, you know what? I'm getting this dog. Oh my God. Continuing to the millions toy. So I was like, you know what? I'm sad. I need this dog. I don't care what she says. I'm getting this dog. Like, do you want me to be happy or do you want me to be depressed? Like, period. So I went to their house and I got him and he was dirty. I'm talking about, he was full on brown. Stop you guys. And he's white obviously. so. He, he gets dirty quick, but like he was rolling around in the dirt at the dog park and he still doesn't look too dirty. Like he was full on brown, like like he lived outside you guys. I don't think he had a very happy home. He was not happy there. He was living outside. God, dude. Just so he'll stop humping and leave him alone. There you go. Now you're you're able to kind of get away from him. <laughs> I just put him over there with a the leash, so that way he's kind of done. What are you doing? So I got the dog, Charlie. Brought him home, and the second my mom gets home, she's she knew. I was like, I got him anyway. I told her on text, I think, guys, I still got him. Sorry, like, I had to. Well, I actually took him to Walmart. So, driving off with him, the second I got him, he tried to crawl on my lap. He was on my lap while I was trying to drive in a Volvo car, not a truck. It was a Volvo. And he was in my lap while I'm trying to drive, this big old baby. Well, so he was bigger than I thought. They sent me a picture of him when he was a puppy puppy. He was like six months, but he was pretty big. And they're like, oh, he's fully grown. No, he still grew a lot. He's a big boy now. But I was like, I don't care how big he is. I don't care if he looks like a puppy or not. He's adorable and I love him already. He just said, I love you so much, Charlie. Okay. So we went to Walmart and the second we walked into Walmart, and this is actually crazy because it was the first sec time I got him. This old lady's like, you can't bring dogs in here. And I was like, he's in the SA, ma'am. Even though like he was, but he wasn't because I literally just got him. He wasn't certified yet. He is obviously an ASA now and he's certified legally. Oh, stop. Oh, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. So I was like, he is an ESA. So she let us in and everyone was like, oh, he's so cute, can I have him? And I bought him like a leash because literally you guys, his leash was a rope, like a long rope. And his collar looked old and busted. Oh, stop. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go in a second, all right? Calm down. We're gonna go in a second to the dog park. 
so you could tell he wasn't treated good like they didn't buy him a proper leash a collar and he was already six months like come on now it was literally like 20 feet long and just like a random rope. can i finish my video y'all stressing me out so <clears throat> i know okay Ugh, stop anyways we got home and my mom's like all right where is he and he's upstairs to the dog park so they can play and run around they're being crazy so anyways she's like where is he and i showed him of course she saw him and he's she's like literally like the second she's on she's like he's so cute i was like i told you and she like fell in love with him instantly like of course she was acting like mad but she wasn't like she low-key was like happy that he's there and now my mom loves him you guys like she'll buy him cbd trees and toys and gifts and stuff and obviously like she helped me out a lot with him when i was still living with her um like with vet bills and like even now that i live alone she helped me with um her and my grandma helped me with his vet bill for his cancer surgery what are you doing? you're crazy you're crazy how you want to escape that dog you think i'm gonna protect you <laughs> well done. oh my god and so yeah that's kind of how like it goes like you know when parents say you can't get a dog and then you do and then they fall in love with them that's just how it is even if they're not a huge dog person like how can nobody not love my dog? Like, he's adorable. Everybody loves him. He's hard not to love. He's just so sweet, and he's such a good dog. And I literally trained him from the jump. Like, he was not trained at all, like I said. I think he lived outside. They said he was potty trained. He was not at all. We lived in a house where he had opened this, a sliding door. Ow! What the heck? Dude, that hurts. Why are you scratching me? Get back. Ugh, this is a long story. I cannot finish because they keep interrupting me. Y'all probably enjoying this, aren't you? And I smell like dog. So, huh, like I said, he was not potty trained. He, the only time he ever chewed stuff was when he was a puppy, like six months. He chewed like my mom's remote, my brand new wooden bed frame, super nice one. Um, ow! I've never really been like a shoe chewer or nothing like that. He's never been a humper like this dog is. He literally doesn't chew nothing. I can leave out all my nice stuff, Gucci slides. Versace, Louis Vuitton, purse, all that stuff. He don't chew nothing. So obviously that was like the puppy stage where he was teething and stuff. <laughs> Stop. I trained him. He would jump on people. He doesn't do that no more like these dogs. He knows how to play dead. He knows how to hug. He knows how to shake. All that good stuff. <clears throat> like he's in the USA. I could take him to stores. He doesn't bark at people when we're inside a store or something. But if we're outside, he knows there's a time and a place. And he'll bark at people, especially men. But like women, he'll bark at them sometimes, but he's way more aggressive towards men. So he knows like to protect his mom and his bark does sound scary. And like when he's play fighting, he looks scary because he's obviously a pit bull. He's got like the wrinkles on the face and all the sharp teeth. And yeah, he's such a good boy. Like when we're on runs and stuff, he'll stop when I tell him or go when I tell him and stuff like that. Okay, they're getting reckless. So we're about to go to the dog park, you guys. I will talk to y'all later. I hope you guys enjoyed this long, crazy story. Sorry, this is how it had to go down. But I'm sure y'all enjoyed the crazy chaos with all these cute dogs. Um, my dog's actually being good just laying down. And these dogs are puppies, so of course they're just going crazy. So we're about to go have some fun. I'll catch you guys later in my next video. I love you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe. Hi! Hi, girlies! Say bye, guys. Bye! Say bye. Alright, bye, guys.